what's up everyone it is your girl shay here and uh it is like sunday morning and so i know in my previous video or a, maybe a few videos before that i did a mini manga haul and i had mentioned that i need to uh rearrange my manga bookshelves so i decided on this lovely sunday morning which is quite dreary and cloudy that would be a great day for me to do that so i'm going to take you guys along while i rearrange my uh bookshelf the first thing i have to do is obviously to take down all the uh manga that i have on here i'm not gonna touch anything that's above here the dvds not gonna touch my harry potter shelf hopefully just gonna touch these two shelves and not even this whole full shelf up here that you can't even see half of it but yeah i'm gonna rearrange it my plan on what i plan how i plan to rearrange it is take the manga i have here which is like bleach and we were there and move just rearrange a lot of stuff bleach i think i'm gonna put in the back of here only because i'm not collecting it anymore i want to move skip beat to the front probably along the bottom because i am starting to reread that to probably also move dream and sun from the back into the front move love hina to the back basically take any current manga series that i'm currently still collecting and move it to the front any manga series that i'm no longer collecting or is completed i'm going to move to the back i'm going to try and move some of the manga i have up here down which is mostly like love and lies and living room matsunaga san move that down only because i'm going to try and fit more of my sailor moon eternal edition books here when i start to buy more i only have up to volume eight so yeah let's uh get started i'm just going to take down these first and i'll see you guys in a few minutes once i finish taking all this down and yeah once i finish with that uh we'll go through also why not all the manga that i currently have and uh where i'm gonna place them so yeah see you guys in a few minutes all right here is all my manga taken down Remove from my bookshelf. Sailor Moon, Azumanga Dayo, Into Zero Not Kiss, Sweat and Soap, Uzumaki, Love Hina, Bleach, My Cat, Bonnie, Sniffing Around, All My Books, Skip Beat, Honey So Sweet, More Love Hina, We Were There, LDK, Mamet Lollipop, and uh, yeah, so my shelf. This is empty. This is semi-empty. I'm keeping Kitchen Princess and Cheese Sweet Home up there. That's my pop. And then Orange is back there as well. I'm going to leave those there along with my Garfield a, uh, comic strip books and my Marvel comic books. But yeah, let's get started with putting some manga really on this shelf and this shelf. Sailor Moon's going to go up there. So I think I can put Sailor Moon up there first. Sailor Moon, you ready? Bit of a glare. You ready, Sailor Moon? All right, let's get started. All right, <clears throat> so like I just showed you guys, all my manga on the floor, along with my cat. Showed you guys my shelves. Now let's put Sailor Moon up here. I have volumes one through eight, so we gotta make them fit. So I might end up moving this pop somewhere else. I just don't know where yet. My cat's looking at me. <laughs> um, I'm gonna put that up there first, so let's start this process. I'm gonna leave that like that. Yes, I know these last two Bob Sailor Moon do stick out a lot, it's because they're hitting Cheese Sweet Home as well in the back. So that means I might have to do another rearrangement later, especially as I start to add more and more. I think there's like 12 total volumes of these, so they may be able to off it. Um, it's just awkward because Kitchen Princess isn't as thick of volumes, but then Cheese Sweet Home is thicker, so it sticks out a lot more. So these two are gonna, you know, stick out a lot more. So yeah, but overall, Got a little bit more space here, so that means I can still add the other volumes here as well without having to move Azumagadayo. And then now, just gotta do this shelf, which I'm probably gonna move Bleach down here to the back because I'm no longer collecting it. So let's now move Bleach 
back here as well. up so what you go next not green and sun I'm gonna go with these next because I also have two other Sailor Moon books as well but those other two Sailor Moon books I don't have the other ones too I have no idea what happened to them so yeah I'm gonna go with those where are they oh lord I have them lost them found them it's just three, four, and five. Let's see here. Um, and anything else that I've finished. So it's going to be uh this is I'm still collecting this, but they haven't came out with the second one yet, and I might just move to digital for this one. So, also going to put back here, me behind, me behind uh, this one. Um, high school debut here, because I'm not going to be collecting that anymore, plus I've finished it. Remove sweat and soap back here too because uh, many of you guys know I decide to start collecting sweat and soap digitally so sweat and soap is going to go on this bottom shelf um, let's see what else can go next sweat and soap mm. I think I'm going to go with Love and Lies and Living with Matsunaga san going on this back shelf because I'm not going to collect Love and Lies anymore. Uh, I'm going to reread it, but I'm not going to collect it anymore. And it's only two volumes, so I'm probably going to do these digitally. And you guys already know I'm only collecting the first two volumes of this, but the rest of them I did buy digitally. So I don't need to push them to the front. Switch sides so you guys can see. Um, Next one I'm going to put on here, Honey So Sweet, because I've finished Honey So Sweet. I bought the rest of the volumes digitally, but I own the first two here, as you can see, physically, so they can fit. I can probably put one more there. Uh, I wonder if Pokemon will fit. No, wait. I have this one. This will fit. I have one more Sailor Moon one that I forgot about. And it can go here. So yeah, that can all go there. I'm probably going to put Skip Beat down here because, oh no, I'm gonna put Skip Beat at the top because I'm still re, I'm gonna put Skip Beat at the top because I'm still reading it and I'm currently re-reading it so I can catch up on it. So instead I'm gonna put on the bottom is Probably my bigger ones. No, I'm gonna put LDK because that's another one that I'm going to reread at some point. So LDK here, LDK, it's gonna go along here. So sorry if things are blurry. So yeah, LDK, LDK, it's gonna go on this bottom shelf because. Let me finish doing this and I'll check in with you guys later. Get down. Be back in a minute. Okay, so I think I might have finished it. So, quick tour. I'm going to take you guys off this tripod really quick. All right. Quick tour. So, Sailor Moon Eternal Editions. One through eight up here. Azumanga Dayo. Just this big omnibus. Pokemon. Volume number one, the collector's edition. Only one I plan to collect of this one. I do not plan to get any more. I can actually also move Piccolo down, I think. Actually, I could put more manga here. I don't know. I'll figure that out. But for now, 
Piccolo, you're just gonna stay up there. Down here, so I have Mamet Lollipop one through seven, but behind here, I actually have Love Hina. Love Hina's behind here, along with Itazurana Kiss. Okay. So this row. Behind here, I have Love Hina, Itazurana Kiss, Kiss Me the Stroke of Midnight, and I also have, I think, the first two volumes of A Silent Voice back here. In front, Mamet Lollipop, Skip Beat, Volumes 1 through 23, Yorani Kenshin, Uzumaki. I think behind here, I have more of my Sailor Moon. You guys saw what's on this back row. It's like bleach and everything else. First 10 volumes of LDK. First 11 volumes of We Were There. The completed of 1 through 10 of Dream and Sun. And then the rest of A Silent Voice. That is how my shelves look right now. This might get changed. How I decide to rearrange it is any manga that I currently finish or do not plan to collect anymore are in the back. Any manga that I'm currently about to read or plan to read, reread or read over, I have pushed to the front. So if you guys know, I'm rereading Skip Beat so I can catch up. I plan to reread LDK as well. Um, because I do want to collect the rest of the volumes. The same for We Were Over There and then Dream and Sun I plan to reread. I don't plan to reread A Silent Voice. I just couldn't fit it back there. And I do plan to do a reread of Mamet Lollipop. So I want to push all the ones that I plan to read up to the front. Anything that I plan to not, don't plan to read into the back. And then Uzumaki and Neuron Attention are just there. So yeah, let me see if I can back you guys up a little bit. So yeah, that is what my shelves look like currently as of right now hope you guys enjoyed this um like i said i might rearrange this again later that is my cat she's deciding to start yelling while i'm recording but that's okay um so yeah that's what i have right now i'll probably change this around later but this just goes to show i have no bookshelf space except for this this row but it, it, i'm still collecting but no more bookshelf space for my manga unless we get rid of those two shelves which I want to but we have nowhere to put the stuff that is up there so yeah that's what they look like right now so that's my completed rearranging my manga bookshelves hope you guys enjoyed that I hope it made sense what I was trying to do and I hope overall like once I edit this and put it together with all the other clips I have uh, hopefully it all comes together. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I enjoyed recording this. I enjoyed trying to make my manga fit. <laughs> like I said in my previous clip, I think it just goes to show that I don't have any more room for manga besides stuff digitally, which sucks because I do like going to the bookstore and buying manga physically. Looks like my other bookshelf might become a manga bookshelf. We'll have to see. But anyway, yeah, that's what I have for you guys. I hope you guys also enjoyed the videos of my cat appearing in here. As you can see, she's right here, right there in the window. She's got the zoomies right now, so she's running around. But yeah, that's what I have for you guys. Of course, I have links below to my social media accounts. I have an Instagram, a Twitter, a blog, and I also do have a TikTok where on my TikTok and on my Instagram, I post like small little videos of mini reviews of manga and also of course anime. So please follow me on there if you guys like. Also, if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. If you don't, give it a thumbs down. Let me know what you guys like and what you guys don't like. And of course, please subscribe if you haven't already. There's like 80% of you guys that like watch my videos and aren't subscribed. So definitely subscribe, especially if you're continuing to go into, if you're continuing to go to my channel and uh, watch my videos. So just subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you know if I wanna come out with new videos, which are twice a week on Wednesdays and also on Saturdays. So yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this. Like I always tell you guys, stay positive, stay nerdy in today's day and age, stay healthy, and of course, stay safe. All right, you guys, bye. <laughs>